Hello everyone, myself Dr. Nisesh Ramgopal, working as Associate Professor in Mathematics in the Department of Humanities and Sciences, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. I welcome you all to the course Computer Oriented Statistical Methods. And today's topic is the problems on Markov chain. So today I am going to solve some problems on Markov chain. In the previous sessions, uh, I have introduced the Markov process and Markov chain. Again, let us repeat the same. A stochastic process is said to be Markov process if for a given value of x of t, the value of x of v for v greater than t does not depend on the value of x of u for u less than t. So, what does it mean? The value of x of t, so this is the given value x of t, then x of v where v greater than t, what does it mean? The future value, v greater than t means the future value. This value does not depend on u, where u is less than t. That means the previous values. So, what does it mean? The value of x of v depends only on x of t. So, the future behavior of the process depends only on the present value. The future behavior depends only on the present value. So, this x of v depends only on x of t, but not on the prior values of that t. And a stochastic process has the Markov property, if its future evaluation depends only on its current position, but not on how it got there. That means, it does not depend on the previous values. And the Markovian chain is a sequence of states x n such that probability of x n plus 1, that means the future value that depends only on the probability of x n. And here even e2 etc. e n are called states and we assume that being in a given state at the next trial depends only on present state. So, the same thing that we have discussed in the previous slide. The future value depends only on the present value, but not on the previous values. And here p i j denotes the transition probability where the transition is from E i to E j. So, shifting from E i to E j with probability P i j. So, this is about Markov chain. Now, let us solve some problems on Markov chain. Now, here is the problem 1. An N initially contains 5 black balls and 5 white balls and the following experiment is repeated indefinitely. And what is the experiment here? A ball is drawn. If the ball is white, again it is put back in the urn. If the ball is black, then it is left out. So, for example, we can consider there is a box in that we have 5 black balls and 5 white balls. Now, one ball is drawn at random. If the ball is white, again keep it back in the box. If the ball is black, then keep it outside. So, that is the experiment. Let xn be the number of black balls remaining in the box after n draws from that box. So, after drawing n times, let this x n denotes the number of black balls, number of black balls remaining in that box. Now, the question is, is this x n a Markov process? Does it indicate a Markov process that we need to check? Second, if so, find the appropriate transmission, uh, transition probabilities and hence construct the TPM, transition probability matrix. So, here the experiment is drawing a ball from a box having 5 black and 5 white. And what is the given information here? If the ball is white, keep it back. If the ball is black, keep it outside. And x n denotes the number of black balls remaining in that box after n draws. Now, coming to the first question, whether x n represents the uh, stochastic process or not. Here, what is x n? The number x n of black balls this x n is the number of black balls remaining in the box. So, x n of black balls 
completely specifies the probability of the outcomes of a trial. So, what is the trial here? Drawing a ball. So, we can find the probability. So, this Xn completely specifies the probability of the outcome of a trial. And hence, Xn is independent of its, its past values. Here, Xn is independent of its past values and hence, this represents a Markov process. Simply, this Xn is a is the number of black balls which completely specifies the probability of the outcomes of a trial. In one trial, if the drawn ball is black, we can find the probability of drawing a black ball from a box having 5 white and 5 black. So, this is independent of the previous uh, draws. So, that is why it indicates or it represents a Markov process. Now, coming to the transition probabilities, we need to find the transition probabilities. Here, the probability of x n equal to 4 says that x n minus 1 is 5. So, what does it mean? Initially, in the box, we have 5 black balls and 5 white balls. So, now x n is 4. What is x n? x n denotes the number of black balls remaining in the box. So, there are only 4 black balls. What does it mean? One ball is drawn al already. In the previous state, there are 5 black balls. So, the probability of drawing uh, 5 black balls. So, there that means 5 out of 10, 5 by 10. And this is same as 1 minus probability of xn equal to 5 and xn minus 1, xn minus 1 equal to 5. Because in the same state, here we are transforming from 5 to 4. 5 to 4, the probability is 5 by 10 and there is no shift. It is there from uh, shift to 5 to shift to 5 itself. So, what is the probability? That is given by 1 minus. So, simply here, this value is probability of xn equal to 5 such that xn minus 1 is also 5 is 5 by 10. Because this is the probability of 4 black balls. That means, in the previous state, 5 black balls are there. And if the state is not changing, it is in 5 again. There is no change in the state. Then what is that probability? Total prob Since total probability is 1, 1 minus this probability gives. So, 1 minus this probability is equal to 5 by 10. Hence, this is equal to 5 by 10. Similarly, coming to this, now, present there are 3. What does it mean? So, previously there are 4. So, already 1 ball is taken. So, there are only 9 balls are remaining and 1 black ball is already drawn. Now, this is 4 by 9 and this is same as 1 minus probability of xn equal to 4 and xn minus 1 is also 4. There is no change in the state, 4th state to 4th state itself. So, what does it mean? This value is given by, this value is 5 by 9. Similarly, this one, 2 black balls. So, there are only 8 remaining. So, 9 remaining. Now, one more ball we are drawing. So, 8 remains and already 4, bla 4 black balls are there. So, now we are drawing one more. So, previously there are 3 only, 3 by 8, which is 1 minus probability of xn equal to 3 and xn minus 1 is also 3. So, from this, you can calculate this 1 minus 3 by 8. So, 5 by 8. Similarly, xn equal to 1. What does it mean? In the box, there are only, there is only one black ball. So, in the previous state, there are two black balls. And previously, it is 8. Now, this becomes 7 and 2 by 7, which is equal to 1 minus probability of xn equal to 2 and xn minus 1 is also 2. There is no change in the state. That probability can be obtained by 1 minus probability of change in state. So, this becomes 1 minus 2 by 7, which is 5 by 7. Similarly, this is 1 by 6. So, this is 1 minus probability of xn equal to 1 and xn minus 1 equal to 1. And now, the last one, there are 0 balls remaining. And in the previous state also 0. So, that means we are uh, not drawing any ball. 
So the total probability is 1. Previously, there are 0 balls, 0 black balls. So how can we draw one more black ball? So the total probability is 1. Hence, the answer is 1 here. So these are the transition probabilities of the given experiment. And now the third question is to find the transition probability matrix. So here, since there are 5 black balls from 0 stage is also there. So total 6 values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0 black, 1 black ball, 2 and so on. And here there is no change 0 to 0. So that is 1. Just now we have calculated. And now changing from 1 state 1 to state 0 is 1 by 6. Yeah, here state 1 to state 0, the probability is 1 by 6. So this value is 1 by 6. And what is this second 2, 2 element of this matrix? Denotes 1, 1. There is no change in the state. So that is given by 1 minus 1 by 6, which is 5 by 6. So this value. Similarly, from state 2 to 1, go back 2 to 1, the probability is 2 by 7. So here we have written 2 by 7. And what is the next value? This 2, 2. That means there is no change in the state. The state from uh, state 2 to 2 itself is given by 1 minus 2 by 7, which is 5 by 7. So this value. Similarly, state 3 to 2, 3 to 2, the probability is 3 by 8. So let us use here 3 by 8. And state 3 to 3 itself is 1 minus 3 by 8, which is 5 by 8. So written here. And similarly, state 4 to 3 is 4 by 9. And state 4 to 4 itself is 1 minus 4 by 9, which is 5 by 9. And the last one, state 5 to 4 is 5 by 10 and state 5 to 5 is also 5 by 10. So like this, we can construct the transition probability matrix by finding the transition probabilities of the given experiment. Now let us consider another problem. A raining process is considered as a two-state Markov process. Now the given data is, if it rains, it is said to be in state 0 and if it does not rain, it is said to be in state 1. Then the transition probability matrix is given here, P. Now the question is, find the probability that it will rain for 3 days from today, assuming that it is raining today also. So the question is, find the probability that it will rain for 3 days from today, assuming that it is raining today also. So here, the given 0 indicates if it rains and 1 indicates does not rain. Similarly, the probabilities are given if the state 0 to 0, 0 means it rains. So if there is no change in the state, it is raining. The probability is 0 0.6 for 0, 0 comma 0. Now from 0 to 1, state is changing 0 to 1, then it will be 1 minus 0 0.6 because the total probability is 1. So, 0 0.4, that value is given here. Similarly, there is no change in the state is 0 0.8, 1, 1 and state change is the remaining probability 1 minus 0 0.8 is 0 0.2. So, the transition probability matrix is given. Now, the question is, what is the probability that it will rain for 3 days from today, assuming that it is raining today? So, there are states from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3. This is the transition here. So, P, this is P square and P cube. We need to find P cube. And in that, that 0, 0 element because 0 indicates raining. So, that 0, 0, P cube, 0, 0. This is the final answer. 
So, for that reason, let us calculate uh, here P is given. So, let us find P square, P into P. So, multiply these two matrices 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.8, which results as 0 0.44, 0 0.56, 0 0.28, 0 0.72. Similarly, let us calculate P cube, P square into P. So, which results as 0 0.376, 0 0.624, 0 0.312, and 0 0.688. And what is the question? Under the assumption that today it is raining, what is the probability that there will be rain for 3 days from today itself? So, that means today it is raining. It is raining means 0. And after 3 days, again raining. Continuously, 3 days rain is there. So, 0, 0. Third day. So, this is from 0 to 1 and this is from 1 to 2 and this is from second day to third day. So, this 0, 0 element in P cube that is 0 0.376 that implies 37.6 percent. There is a probability of 37.6 percent that there will be rain for 3 days starting from today under the assumption that today also it is raining. So, like this we use the stochastic process and particularly the Markov chain process to find such probabilities. Similarly, let us solve the following. A gambler has rupees 2 and he bets rupees 1 at a time and wins rupees 1 with probability 1 by 2. So, the player has 2 rupees and what is the bet every time? 1 rupee. And he wins, what is the profit? 1 rupee again. With probability, so 1 rupee with probability 1 by 2. What does it mean? He wins 1 rupee with probability 1 by 2 means the probability of losing 1 rupee. So, Q is 1 minus P, which is 1 minus 1 by 2. So, Q is equal to 1 by 2. This is losing probability. The probability of winning 1 rupee is 1 by 2. So, losing probability is also 1 by 2. Now, he stops playing if he loses rupees 2 or wins rupees 4. So, if he win rupees 4, then he will stop playing or else if he loses rupees 2, then also he will stop. Construct the transition probability matrix. That is the question. And here, let Xn represents the amount with the player at the end of nth round of the play. So, let us denote the amount that the player has after n rounds by Xn. So, this Xn denotes the amount left with him after n rounds. Then actually how much he has? 2 rupees. So, the player has, he has 2 rupees. Now, for example, uh, when he stops the game, if he loses rupees 2, that means from rupees 2, he will reach 0. And also, if he wins rupees 4, he stops the game. So, uh, he has already 2. If he wins rupees 4, then the total amount will be 6. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 5, 6. So, these are the positive values for Xn. So, therefore, the state space of Xn is given by 0 to 6. Since he has 2 rupees and he, he may lose 2 rupees means he may reach 1 or else he wins rupees 4 means he reaches 4. So, plus 4 here and minus 2 here. And in between we have the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, these are the possible values for Xn. 
Now the transition pro probability matrix is given by 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The transition probability matrix is given by. Now here, the state 0 to 0, that means he has 0 rupees, so he stops the game. He do not play. So the probability is 1. And similarly, 6 state 6 to 6, so probability is 1. And all the remaining are zeros in that row. Next, state 1 to 0, that means he loses rupees 1, so with probability 1 by 2. And there are only two chances, either he loses rupees 1 or he wins rupees 1. So if he loses rupees 1, that means he will reach 0 or if he wins rupees 1, he will reach 2. So this is the probability with 1 by 2 and remaining are zeros and he has 2 rupees. There are only two chances. He can, he may lose 1 rupee or gain 1 rupee. If he loses 1 rupee, he reach 1 rupee again. So here 1 by 2 and he, if he wins 1 rupee, he will reach 3. So 1 by 2 here, whereas the remaining values are zeros. Similarly, if he has 3 rupees, either he remains with, he may remain with 2 rupees or plus 1 rupee, 4 rupees. So 2 rupees losing, 4 rupees winning and remaining values zeros. And from 4, he may reach 3 or 5 because there are only 2 possibilities. From rupees 5, he may reach 4, 1 by 2 or reach 6 and remaining are zeros. So this is the transition probability matrix. Hence in today's session, we have discussed about the Markov chain or the Markov process and solve some problems on Markov chain. This is for today's session and we will meet in the next session. Thank you.